guys, happy Monday. I hope your day is going amazing. So I thought I'd come here and do something a little bit different. So we are gonna be doing a Q&A for this video. I asked you guys to make it a bit more different, a bit more juicy. I wanna, I want you guys to ask me like questions that you've never really asked me before. And you guys went in. So I'm really, really excited to be answering some of these questions. I haven't really had a look at them. I just asked you guys on Instagram and then I screenshot it a few days later here I am about to sit down and film this video for you guys so like I mentioned I literally don't know like what you guys asked me at all I'm literally gonna sit down and do this and um, it's gonna get personal it's um it's gonna be interesting and that's for sure um I'm just excited guys so with that this long intro if you guys wanna learn more about me find out a few more things that you haven't really got to know over the course of, I don't know, four years maybe on Instagram, then please keep on watching and let's get right into the video. However, I just want to start off by saying a massive thank you to to Danny and Wellington for sponsoring this video. Um, they sent me the most cutest uh, package ever. First and foremost, I have to say that Danny Wellington's packaging is always 10-10. Like, imagine receiving this under your Christmas tree or imagine receiving this in the post like I would be overwhelmed like the packaging is gorgeous perfect for this time of year like that's for sure I just everything about it just makes it feel like so special anyway so I'm gonna open everything up and show you guys what I got so um okay so oh my god I was so excited about this I am um, I really I'm really into like silver jewelry as you guys can tell by my earrings by my rings and everything and um, I got the new Daniel Wellington ring so this is the first item I got the new Daniel Wellington ring in silver I got it in size 54 it fits really really nice I'm gonna probably pop it in this finger I just love the way it looks and the way it sits on my finger I think it looks really nice and elegant That's the first item I got by the way guys please ignore the lighting the lighting's coming in and out it's just gone all sorts of crazy so please ignore that but yeah that's the first item I received and I am obsessed I just love the way silver like white gold just looks it just it's beautiful so i'm very very happy with the first package like it's such a huge packaging for such a small ring i thought it's going to be like a small little you know one of those ring boxes but the fact that it's like massive it's kind of cool the next item i received is the bracelet the matching bracelet that goes with it uh, and the bracelet is a very very small it's tiny it's very elegant i just think it looks really really nice with the ring and the bracelet I just think it goes hand in hand and it is just beautiful. So guys, they currently have an amazing offer going at the moment where you can get 20% off if you buy two items or more. And not only that guys, you can get an additional 15% off when you use my discount code, which is, is Amina Chubby in capitals. And um, you guys can get a further 15% off, which I think is literally a bargain. So why the hell not? So if you're a last minute, Christmas shopper or you're just not really good at gift, uh, getting gifts for someone or like that person is quite hard to gift for so there's quite a massive selection on here you're never ever going to be like oh my god what did I get that person because there's quite a few things um especially if they're into what like everyone's into like watches jewelry and stuff like that so I feel like it's a very easy one to get for someone so yeah this is the watch I freaking love it I was so excited when I got it in the post I was like oh my god this is like me in a watch. So for all of you guys that find this satisfying, here you go. That is the most satisfying thing literally ever. Look how gorgeous the watch is up front. This is the ladies collection. They have a similar men's collection um, in a bigger size. This is the 32mm and oh, this just look how good looking this is this is going to look amazing paired up with the bracelet so yeah guys just to conclude this little section don't forget to use my code um my discount code amina chevy for 15 percent off um along with 20 percent off when you order two items or more i think that's credible they do gift wrapping they do free orders i mean there's so much going on on the daniel wellington um, site at the moment so i will leave that link down below for you guys so make sure you check them out so i am going to jump in now and we're going to go through the q a together and answer all of those cheeky little questions that you guys have for me okay so I've got all the questions featured on my phone that I've screenshot that you guys pretty much asked me 
to answer. So some of the questions are pretty similar. So I'm just going to combine them and answer them together if that makes sense. Or some are like just like repeated um, and asked quite a few times. So I'm just going to answer them as I go. Um, so let's go through the front some of the first ones. Oh my God, you guys asked so many questions. Like what the hell is quite a lot of stuff. Okay. So I'm going to go through um, and choose just questions at random. Okay, so quite a few of you guys actually asked, how many years have you been married? So we've just celebrated our fifth year anniversary, alhamdulillah. So this November was our fifth year anniversary. I've been married for five years, which is freaking amazing. And yeah, really scary because I'm like, how has five years gone by so quick? Like that just literally freaks me out. But yeah, I've been married for five years, alhamdulillah. Like it's been amazing. But it feels like I've just met him sort of thing. But yeah, it feels like I've known him my whole life. I don't know, it's really weird. But I've been married for five years to keep the question nice and sweet, five years. Yeah. Okay, so another question is, how did you tell your parents about your man? Funny emoji, and then it says help. Okay, so by the way, I'm gonna keep all of these names and everything anonymous, because I don't know if anyone wants their name out there public so i'm just going to keep everything anonymous but um yeah so basically mine was pretty straightforward um i literally went to my mom and she kind of knew that i had so like i was speaking to someone um because like if anyone was talking about a guy or anything i'd get like really giggly and really shy about it um so i kind of feel like she knew that i had someone but it wasn't like kind of confirmed. So I just went up to her one day and I just like, mom, I'm kind of ready to get married. Even though I was only 20 at that time that I told her that I wanted to get married, uh, which is fairly young. Like everyone's getting married pretty much in the late twenties now because everyone's focusing more on their career and more on different things, which I, I respect. But if you are like pretty young and you want to get married, um, it's not a bad thing too because you can still carry on and do the things that you want to do. Like I feel like people think like when you get married your whole life is pretty much over and honestly it's not the case. Like you can still do anything that you want to do being married really and that's kind of what I did as well. I got married when I was, when I just hit 21 and I, I still do everything that I want to do. Uh, I still travel, I still like, I can still do my career if I wanted to, like I, I can still do anything that I wanted to do. So. Just keep in mind that being getting married is not going to stop you from doing the things that you want. Um, another question that I seem to get a lot is, do your parents live abroad? So no, my mom actually lives here and I see my mom like pretty much all the time. She lives about like a 15 minute drive. No, not 15. Is it 15 minutes or maybe 20 minutes depending on traffic. So she lives pretty local. Whereas my dad, he's currently living in Dubai, but my dad travels all the time. So a couple of months out of the year, he'll be in Dubai. A couple of months out of the year, he'll be in Tunisia, Dubai, here, England. So like he travels quite a lot. So he's not really set in one place forever, if that makes sense. He travels a lot. And so does my mom. So like so she's currently in Dubai, literally as I speak. And um, she just went last week. So she's going to stay there for a couple of months there to chill with my dad. So my parents are just always on the go all the time. So they're never really set in one place. Basically, retired life is pretty much the one. That's for sure. Another question um, I got is why aren't you active on YouTube? No vlogs or videos. Actually, you're very mistaken because I upload on YouTube very frequently now I feel like I post at least two videos a week currently I say currently yes I know sometimes I'm very naughty I can go like two weeks without uploading which I've stopped okay guys I've stopped so now I upload more or less like one video a week which I feel like is very reasonable and a lot of youtubers do that so um unless you're not subscribed to me um, unless you're not seeing my videos in your subscription, which makes me very sad. Guys, please, please, please press the notification button um, on top of my videos and be notified so you can be notified when I upload my videos. It's just like a little bell that you need to press uh, on top of the video and you'll be notified when I upload my videos. I would really appreciate it because I have actually realized that a lot of people don't really see my videos anymore and that makes me so sad because I put a lot of effort in my video and um, it's really like, well thought out so the fact that you guys don't get to see it makes me really sad so so to answer that question i do upload videos i upload one a video like every week or sometimes if i'm free like twice a week so please if you don't see my videos just make sure you you press notifications so you can see my videos when i upload um yeah guys i i've been on youtube for like 
coming up to four years now which is literally insane it blows my mind like literally blows my mind so um i'm i'm an og okay i've been on this for so long i feel like i'm an old i'm one of the old people that's been on youtube for ages you know one of them you know do you know what i mean yeah that's that's me another question um actually the same girl asked me the same um another question she's like do you still suffer from um anxiety and are you better now um or are you better now sorry um I have always suffered with anxiety for the longest time ever. Um, it's a lot better now than it was before, alhamdulillah. Like I have pushed myself to do things that I am not comfortable with or, and I feel like that's the only way forward in this situation. Like you have to sometimes force yourself to do things that you don't wanna do, but that's just the way forward to move ahead and to fight this anxiety. So if you're suffering with anxiety at the moment, I would say one way, to help you kind of get through it is honestly fight it even though it's easier said than done and i get that i hate it when people are like oh just do this you'll be fine and sometimes you just feel like saying shut up like literally it's not that easy so i, I totally get where you're coming from i know if you're suffering with it it's it's easy for someone to say oh you'll be fine and you'll get over it. it's just a stage i hated when someone says that when someone said that but honestly like the best way that helped me get through it is honestly face it fit their uh, foot forward like just literally Go ahead and do the things that you you think you're scared of or you may not think you're capable of doing so. So like for me, I get a lot of like travel anxiety. Like I feel like something's going to happen to me when I travel or like I'm not in my safe haven, in my safe place. So for me, more more or less, it's traveling. Um, so honestly, now I like just fight it. Like um, I'll drive on the motorway. I'll catch a train to this, that, and the other. Even though like sometimes I'm scared or like my heart's beating and I feel like something's going to happen to me, I kind of distract myself so i listen to like audible or i like play games on my phone i like watch a movie on my ipad or my laptop or something i'll take stuff with me just to kind of keep my head kind of distracted um but the best way for you i would say if you're going through that whether it be social anxiety is just kind of face it like go out whether it be once a week or maybe go twice a week just like force yourself to overcome it that's the only best way you're going to do it and that's Honestly, the best advice I could give you because that's honestly helped me a lot. I do still have bad days and good days, like with any situation. Like sometimes it's a lot better, sometimes it's easy to cope, but it honestly like depends on the day. So I can't say it's fully gone, but it's improved a lot, alhamdulillah. That's one thing I have to say. Um, so the next question is, what hotel did you stay in? So um, if you guys didn't know, Adil surprised me um, and took me to London for a few days for my birthday and he booked the flipping Hilton Hotel for us, which I was like, oh my God, it's such a beautiful hotel. It literally lives up to its name. Like, I was like shook. So the one that we stayed in was actually in Canary Wharf because we usually, when we go to London, we kind of well we kind of stay like in central but i thought let's kind of go to a different like place in london like different like a location so we went to canary wharf and canary wharf is so beautiful you've got like all the water around and you've got boats and and the ferries and everything and it's just such a beautiful place um so we stayed in there if i'm i'm not too mistaken it's called the ducklands um, but it's in Canary Wharf. So if you search Hilton Hotel in Canary Wharf, it will come up hopefully because that's the one we stayed in and it's so beautiful. Another question is how to spice up your marriage. Please keep me anonymous. Absolutely fine. I will definitely keep you anonymous. So a uh, one way to spice up your marriage without being too too open about it. Um, I feel like it's very important to look good for your husband. You know, dress up for your husband. Look cute wake up brush your hair i know my sister's um she doesn't do that very often so um when she asked me like oh like how do what how do you keep your like, marriage alive and like when we have like girly top uh, girly talks and we just talk about stuff like that i'm always like dress up for your husband like it's really good to dress up for your husband like wake up your makeup brush your hair like, put some perfume on like feel good for you but then it's also like looking good for him and obviously it's going to make him feel like oh look at my wife she cute um which is always a good thing um and also it's very good to like if you're like in such a regime like every single day like you go to work and then you come back and you make dinner and it's like you need to switch that up a little bit go for like date nights like have like at least one day out of the week where you guys go on like date nights together um, if you have kids, maybe like like get a babysitter to look after your kids or like let your parents look after them for like a week. Uh, just have that one day just for you two. Um, I feel like it's so important to just have that time for yourselves. Like 
you need to bring that love back together like go on date nights like hold hands like show each other affection like hug and stuff like that um and it's not a bad thing like i feel like some people think it's a bit oh it's too cringy to do that like oh no it's not it's good to be affectionate to, towards your um, other half so um doing a few little bits and bobs it's good it spices up the marriage um and that's as far as i'm gonna take it yeah so the next question is kind of related to goals where do you see yourself in three years time so that's a really good question i would see myself inshallah having a kid in three years time for sure i feel like i'll be at that age where i'm like ready for kids so i would want to have a kid i would want to ideally own my own house like that's a massive achievement i'll put it out there now i'm gonna have to work hard this year next year and really like really get the ball going because i've been renting well i've been renting for so many years i moved out when i was 18 so i've been renting since i was 18 and that's that's a long time it's nearly coming up to like 10 years i've just turned 27 by the way guys i feel freaking old but um yeah i would like to ideally own my own house have one kid like expand my business and inshallah 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 everything will go smoothly from there inshallah okay another question is how do you save up and afford many designer bags i honestly don't have a lot of designer bags i feel like someone asked me this question before previously i feel like this is a, like a deja vu and i'm answering this question again um i actually don't own a lot of designer bags as crazy as that sounds um i love bags but i do not own a lot of designer bags i can guarantee you that even though as much as i would love to i just don't own a lot of designer bags because they're freaking expensive and your girls out here are trying to save up for a house so designer bags are on a hold for a while that's for sure i want obviously a few i own a few designer bags which um I freaking love and I wear all the time, but I do not own a lot of designer bags. If that and another interesting question, actually, do you feel being a mother would stop your career? That's actually a really interesting question. So I feel like it wouldn't stop your career as such. You might be on pause for a little bit because obviously, as soon as you have your kid, you're very occupied with this individual, which is your baby. So um, I feel like you be you'll obviously you'll have to pause your career for a little bit because you'll have to take time out um, on maternity leave and then you'll have a, like a newborn that you just are... Like my sister right now, she's just like a feeding machine. She just had a baby not long ago. Um, and she's just like a feeding machine. All she does is like feed, change nappies, feed, change nappies. Um, she is starting to go out now, which is good. But I feel like for, first, for the first few months, you're like, literally your life is just surrounded by this kid and you just kind of have to put you have to work around it and um, you have to work around your career so i feel like it wouldn't stop it especially if you own your own business you can just take time out and like say the baby's like obviously sleeping you can do it during like between feeds or like if someone's if someone's looking after your kid you could be working and doing other things so i feel like being a mother wouldn't stop your career as such but um it wouldn't be the same of course you'd have a lot more time to do if you're um single or you're free or if you're free and you haven't got a kid like you have no responsibility you can just get up and go and focus on your career but when you have a little one it's you're not thinking about you anymore you're thinking about this individual so of course it's gonna have a bit of a toll on your career no doubt but i feel like it wouldn't stop your career if that makes sense hope it did <laughs> person asked how much do you weigh and she put the eye emoji that's a really cheeky question i am um, in no state to really reveal my weight online for the whole world to know so um, i'm gonna skip that question so another question is what made you change your hijab style i changed my hijab where did the hell did that go i changed my hijab styles every so often because i get bored of my same hijab style and with fashion with style like it's good to switch up. It's good to change it up. Sometimes you can, I get bored really easily. Oh my God, like I cannot entertain myself to save my life. Like I change this room every so often. I'm always changing things around because I get bored really easily. So if I wear the same style every single day, I just get bored. So I feel like I need to change it up, switch it up. And it depends on my outfit as well. Does it go with my outfit, with, it, with this outfit I'm wearing? So that's kind of all the things I consider. 
Um, yeah, so that's kind of the reason why I changed my scarf style because I got bored and I wanted to try something new. So, yeah. Um, your favorite foundation. So my favorite current foundation, I have to say, is the Fenty Beauty. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, one tip is I will definitely say always like get a shade lighter than you are with Fenty Beauty foundations because they do oxidize so you do look a lot darker than you are during the day so I, would, I definitely recommend like um, getting a, light, a shade lighter for sure but currently I'm absolutely loving the Fenty Beauty foundation it's so flawless it's so light light on your skin it doesn't look cakey easy to blend it's just a really really good foundation another question is if you didn't live in the uk where would you live dubai hands down dubai is where i would be living right now if i had a choice i would be living in dubai does anyone out there in dubai want to sponsor me to come down to live there i am down i would go there any day um i just wish it wasn't as expensive to live in dubai but i one country dubai i would literally leave the UK and move to Dubai happily, honestly. Everything about Dubai is just just beautiful. You wake up and it's sunny every day. You wake up and it's so light, like hot, warm, and it's just there's so much to do, you're never bored. I feel like where I live in Leicester, there's not, there's not much going on here, so it's pretty boring. Another question is, what was your job role before being a YouTuber? I was actually a supervisor in uh, boots i was a makeup artist there and i was a skin expert so yeah i absolutely loved that job i actually did it uh while doing youtube because i could do both at the same time i loved that job so much uh, it's just unfortunate because uh, we had a new manager that came through and she was mean as hell um i did not like her at all like literally everyone that was working with me that at that time left because of her which is really sad because you know what we were such a good team and worked so well together but since she came everyone just left they just you know what a manager makes a huge difference in a workplace if you have a good manager honestly like work will feel completely different for you but if you have such a horrible manager that's always on your back always watching over you it's just going to make worse it's just going to make work feel just depressing and like you're always on edge and no one wants to feel like they're always on edge so to be honest i had such an amazing job and i absolutely loved it but i left because of my manager and everyone else that was working there current uh, was that was working with me left because of the same reason which is sad but i am i'm doing the job that i love at the moment and I've, i'm running my own business so i'm alhamdulillah like i'm so blessed to be able to do what i do and work from home i'm literally so blessed so yeah another um message well it's not a message she's like you are the most gorgeous person i have ever seen oh my god thank you so much that literally has made my day thank you thank you thank you that's so sweet i think i'm gonna leave it here guys i feel like i've answered quite a lot of questions if you guys have any more questions that you guys want me to do another q a just simply leave it commented down below and, and i will answer it in my next q a i hope you guys are having an amazing day and i shall see you guys really really soon in my next video peace out bye, bye. <laughs>